Educational videos on biogas by Hikons. Hello all, it has been very long time since we gave any new educative content uh, with you. Uh, the Partially the reason being uh, the Napier as well as the CBG market has picked up very well. We have been very uh, busy and uh, we uh, could acquire quite a lot of customers. Uh, because of that, some of these uh, uh, initiatives uh, which are more oriented uh, towards educating people that got a back foot. So today uh, we are going to talk about very basic uh, topic which is about the gas itself. So uh, when we meet a lot of people, uh, people get confused with uh, LPG, CNG uh, or uh, PNG. Uh, then there is uh, bio CNG or compressed biogas we are talking. There are various gases which is confusing people. So this is going to be a very basic, we can say like a chapter one. First we have is something very familiar, which we know, which is liquefied petroleum gas, those cylinders which we buy for uh, cooking, uh, many, most of us have seen. So any energy typically happens, any this energy which we produced by burning contains carbon and hydrogen. So this liquefied petroleum gas is basically propane and butane. Uh, in some countries it can be pure protein, uh, propane also. Whereas in Indian uh, India, it is propane, butane, propylene, butylene and isobutane. So if you look at the chemical formula, C3H8 is the propane. So there are three carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. Similarly, C4H10 for butane. So this is our petroleum gas. This comes from refining the petroleum products. So this we know. Uh, the same crude oil gets... Uh, uh, becomes diesel, petrol and so many other things and propane gas is one of them which we call it liquefied. It is in a liquid form uh, when we are storing it our home in a cylinder. The next what we have is the natural gas. This also now there is a huge understanding or the awareness. This comes from various sources. One of the source is coal mines where people are mining the coal. So in the top surface there is a natural gas which is struck that can be extracted. Apart from that below the ground means much uh, deeper than the coal mines there will be a natural gas reserves. It can be under the land area or it can be below the sea also. So when it is uh, under sea it is called seabed methane. So there will be the chemical in this will be methane which is CH4 carbon 1 and hydrogen 4 and this gas is extracted and whatever cannot burn like carbon dioxide those will be filtered out and what can burn which is a useful compound that will be utilized as a natural gas. So if you look at the storage there is a LPG cylinder and CNG cylinder though these cannot be interchanged and used. You can see a welding joint on the LPG cylinder, whereas the CNG cylinder is completely a solid block of iron, so there is no joint. And if we try to fill the natural gas at the high pressure in the LPG cylinder, it is going to burst like a bomb. So we should never think of it. So there are some uh, YouTube videos showing filling of the uh, LPG cylinder with natural gas, but that is limited to very, very low pressure. Next what we have is the same gas instead of extracting from the coal bed or natural fossil sources we can produce it on the ground. We have to put any biodegradable material so ultimately any biodegradable material during the decomposition it will emit CH4 which is methane along with carbon dioxide and other gases. So in case of this biogas, what we are doing is we are feeding the raw material which is biodegradable into a large tank which is fully covered, airtight and because of the bacterial activity, the biogas will come out and after extracting the gas, whatever is left over will come out as a manure. If you look uh, the similarity, probably millions of years ago, the vegetation or the forest were covered by some of this landmass, 
or some of the uh, biomass which is growing in the sea went into the deep sea on the surface level and because of there is no oxygen and there is a bacterial activity probably it got uh, become it, got, it became methane just like what we are doing in the biodigester this is the simplest way of explanation so if you look the two sources of this methane now uh, methane or any gas now lpg and natural gas are fossil based sources we are extracting from the uh, earth or wherever it is available now the renewable source is the biogas so when we take it from fossil sources lot of carbon is actually locked in the in the form of these fuels when we burn that that locked carbon we are going to release it to the atmosphere that is what we are all calling the cause of global warming you know, during last 150 or so years we burned so much of uh, fossil fuel that about 175 ppm of carbon dioxide has increased to 225 or so so there is a, a real effect this is where we will uh, stop this uh, video and definitely we will keep uh, going more deeper into the explanations